Hey there guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute since I did a sit down video. I wanted to use this opportunity to say thank you to 1k subscribers. I am so happy. I can't believe I'm at this stage. I mean, it's, it's a big deal to me because I know when I want to start this YouTube channel, I had a lot of doubts because there are a lot of sewing tutorial channels out there doing really good you know giving us good content when i was about to start i had my doubts like who would subscribe who would watch but look at me look at me here i am so happy i want to say a very big thank you to all of you who have subscribed to my channel it's a very big support and um, i want to say thank you very much in this tutorial video i'm going to be showing you how to make a three-part corset which is what i'm wearing this is actually my first time of making a three-part corset and it came out so nice it came out so good if you've not made a three-part corset ever you can follow this tutorial step to step and you would come up with something as beautiful or even more beautiful than this okay so this is just going to be only for the pattern drafting i'm going to be uploading the sewing version most times i'm not able to upload both the pattern drafting and the sewing version in one video because it just becomes a very long video i'm going to be uploading another video which is going to be the sewing version of how to make this beautiful corset so guys i want to say again thank you to 1k subscribers 1k strong 1k family i love you guys so much and if you are yet to subscribe please do subscribe join this family we are growing every day or like this video and also share it it can be useful to someone out there let's get right into this video I will go right in to take the length of my corset top which is 22.5 inches so I'm going to go ahead and mark it right there from my tape rule and the next thing is to get from my shoulder to my bust point 11 inches to my under bust point 15 inches and to my waist which is 18 inches then you want to go right in to rule lines across these dots to make them more visible You want to go right in to label your lines just so you know which is which and then i'm going to go right in to take the length of my shoulder which is my shoulder divided by two and mine is seven inches then i'm going to take my neck width and my neck depth and we're not really making use of these it is just so we can get our basic bodies right there on my shoulder i'm going to come down by one inch and then from there i'm going to be connecting right there back to my neck width this is going to form our shoulder slope from our shoulder slope we are going to get our armhole which is your bust round divided by 4 plus 1.5 you want to make sure that this this also aligns with your shoulder okay then you want to go right in to connect these two together to form your armhole and right there where your armhole stops is going to serve as your chest line so go ahead and rule a line across like so and label this your chest line so on our armhole we are going to find the middle of our armhole by bending the tape rule like so then mark right there in the middle and from there you want to go in by half an inch then on my chest line i'm going to take the quarter of my bust measurement which is my bust divided by four then from there i'm going to connect these dots together back to my shoulder slope to form my armhole curve the next thing i'm going to do is get my nipple to nipple measurement right on my bust on my under bust on my waist and also on the length of my top the next thing i'm going to do is take out my darts so right there on my waist i'm coming out by half an inch on both sides then i'm going to place my tape rule on my bust and come down by one inch and on the length of my top i'm going to also go up by one inch then i'm going to go ahead and connect these dots together from my waist right to my bust and from my waist down to the length of my top to form my darts The 
next thing you want to do on your shoulder find the middle of your shoulder okay you can simply place your tape rule and bend it or just measure out your shoulder right there and divide by two so right there is the middle of my shoulder i'm going to be connecting that point back to my bust pan all right the line doesn't have to be straight okay because it's your shoulder so you're going to be connecting that in a slanted line back to your bust pan now that we have this we're going to measure from our bust to our under bust okay you're going to measure what you have from your bust to your under bust and whatever that you have you're going to take it round right you're going to take it from that starting point from your bust to your under bust you take it round and come back to the starting point all right so just look at the screen and see how i am taking this round so from my bust my under bust is four inches and i'm going to be taking four inches round like so it's going to be in a circle you want to make sure that your tape rule is steady right there on your bust okay it doesn't shift from that bust point now you can see what we have okay the next thing we are going to do on our under bust we are going to be coming out by half an inch again from the darts okay not from the bust pan from this darts that we already have you want to place your tape rule and come out by half an inch then rule a straight line from there down to the length of your top then with a curved line or with your pattern master with a curved rule you can even use your free hand also you want to connect a curved line back to your bust okay right there where the dart started you can see where i am stopping this curve right where the dart started i'm going to be stopping this curve it doesn't have to go right up to your bust point next thing is to take our darts on this top part of the cup all right then what you want to do is on your under bust where you took out your dart you want to measure what you have and whatever that you have there you're going to divide it to two on equal parts so what i have for mine is 1.5 inch i'm going to divide it to two on equal parts making it one inch and 0.5 inch so for the part going towards the middle i'm going to give it the smaller part which is the 0.5 inch and for the part going towards the side i'm going to give it one inch which is the bigger part and for these two parts that i just divided you want to add extra 0.5 inch to them so for this part going towards the middle which is 0.5 inch i'm going to be adding extra 0.5 inch to it making it one inch and for the part going towards the side i'm going to be giving it one inch with extra 0.5 inch making it 1.5 inch guys i hope you understand so this extra 0.5 inch that i'm adding is for bust tightening okay to prevent any gaping on our cup then you want to with connect with a straight line from this dart to your bust point the next thing i'm going to do is place my tape rule on my chest line and i'm going to go in by half an inch this is going to be the distance between the two cups then from there i'm going to draw a curved rule back to the dart on top of my cup like so the next thing i'm going to do is from this chest line where i went in by half an inch i'm going to be placing my pattern master like so and draw a curved rule down to my under bust all right so you can see what we have we have one part of our cup then for the other part you remember that what we, that the difference i had from my bust to my under bust is four inches so i'm going to be taking this exact four inches on my chest line all right you can see then from there i'm going to be drawing a curve back to my under bust so whatever you have from your bust to your under bust you want to take the same measurement on your chest line and then from there rule a curved rule back to your under bust and then from this other that i'm going to be shaping out my armhole because this corset top is going to be having a sleeve so i'm going to be shaping out my armhole like so 
now if this was not a three part cup our cup is ready but because it is we'll get the third part of our cup and this third part is going to be from my chest line to my bust point you can see where i'm indicating right now from my chest line to my bust point and then it's going to have a curved shape going up so what i'm going to do on these darts that i took up here i'm going to mark 2.5 inch on both sides all right then from there i'm going to be connecting it with a curved rule down to the both sides of my cup you can look at the screen and see what i am doing all right just so you don't get confused so from this 2.5 inch that i just marked i'm going to be connecting it with a curved rule down to my bust point on both sides now our cup is ready and you can see how it looks the next thing i'm going to do is take my round measurements and while you are taking your round measurements you want to make sure that you replace your darts all right replace all the darts that you took away including this dart on the top part of your cup you want to replace it and also go ahead to add your stitching allowance all right so i'm doing that for all the parts of my bodice for my underboss right now I'm going to replace this dart and I'm also going to go in and add my stitching allowance. Then on the length of my top, I'm going to do the same thing, replace my dart, go in and add my stitching allowance. Then I'll go right in to join up all these dots. now you can see what we have and so this corset top is going to be having a curved shape at the length i'm going to be going up by two inch right there and from there i'm going to be drawing a curved line towards the center part of the corset just so i form sort of a box or a curved basque shape all right or whatever it is and you can see the way it looks and now i'm going right into cutting and you want to make sure that you look exactly at where i'm cutting just so you don't make mistakes all right now before we cut this third part of our cup we want to go in and label these two cups all right you want to make sure that you go in and label them just so you don't get confused all right so you want to make sure the one label is however that you understand i'm taking the first one going towards the middle as one and one going towards the side as two and i'm also drawing up my arrows to indicate that they, they are both mashing up at the center then before i would go right in to cut out this third part of my cup and now this third part of your cup you want to go in and use a silo tape and put it together all right you can see how i am doing it i'm going to be using a silo tape to join it together now our cup is ready you can see you can see what it's looking like also go in and label this third part the one going towards the middle and the one going towards the side and also go ahead and label your panels and that's it for the front pattern for the back pattern i've already gone ahead to take my vertical measurements my chest my bust point my under bust points my waist and the length of my top so now i'm going in to take my darts which is my nipple to nipple measurement and you want to take that on your chest line on your bust line your under bust line and also on the length of your top then go ahead and connect these lines together the next thing i'm going to do is take out my dart so right there on my waist i'm going in by half an inch on both sides and then right there on my chest line i am going to come down by half an inch and then 
I'm going to be connecting these dots like so and then you also want to connect these dots from your waist down to the length of your top. So the back part is going to be having three panels all right so from this first panel you want to go ahead and get your bust point again so if your bust point is four you want to go ahead and get four inches again like so Just like we did for the first dart, we would come out by half an inch on both sides on the waist. Then from the chest line, we would come down by half an inch and then go ahead and connect our dots from our waist up to our chest line and from our waist down to the length of the top. Now, because this back is going to be having a loop, we are not having any zipper, all right? So on my chest line, I'm going in by three inches and on the length of my top, I'm going in by two inches because I want this to have sort of a V-shaped look, you know? So right there, I'm just connecting the slanted line from my chest line down to the length of my top and I'm just indicating with these dots to show that it's going to be having a loop. And I'm going in to label my panels, which is very, very important. Going in now to take my round measurements, also replacing my darts and adding my stitching allowance. On the length of my top, I'm coming out by a quarter of an inch from my nipple to nipple line and I'm connecting that right back to the waist length of my top. This is so to avoid any flapping on the length of my top, okay? And you want to do that for the both darts, all right? For the both darts that you took. So on the second dart, I'm doing the same thing, coming out by a quarter of an inch on both sides and connecting that back to the waistline. Now, because I want the neck part to have a curved looking shape, I'm putting my pattern master from my armhole and I'm drawing a curve right back to the center front. Just like we did for the front pattern, I'm going up by two inch on the side at the length of my top. And with a curved line, I would be drawing a curve back to the center front on the length of my top. So guys, that's basically it for this pattern drafting. I hope that it was clear enough and straight to the point. If you've not tried making a corset before or a three-part corset, I hope that you tried this out and I hope that this becomes very useful to you. Thank you for watching.